Hi, this is section 4.8, which is called inverse variation, which is just the opposite of what we did on 4.7. We would still follow these four steps, but because it's inverse, then um, the, the x value or whatever the variable is, is going to be under the k. So let's take a look at question one. It says, um, y varies inversely with x. So y varies inversely with x. So I have y varies is equals k. Inversely means the x goes below the k. So in any given problem, if I want to know what k is, I would cross multiply and discover that x times y would give me k, which is the opposite of what we did on 4.7. So if you look at question one, they give you several x values and y values. So my x and y, I've got um, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 for x. And for y, I have 30, 15, 10, 15 halves. Um, and six. So what I want to do here to verify that this is an inverse relation is to multiply these. Three times 30 is 90. Six times 15 is 90. Nine times 10 is 90. 12 times five halves is 90. And 15 times six is 90. So because they all gave the same answer, then the, the, the answer would be yes, y varies inversely with x. What is K? K is 90 in this case, because they all ended up being 90. So that's question number one. Let's look at question number two. Um, we've got the same setup, Y varies inversely with X. So what we need to do is multiply the list and see if everything gives the same answer. So for X, I have um, 5, 4, 8, 3, 2. 5, 4, 8, 3, 2, and for y I have 2, 3, 8, 4, 5, 2, 3, 8, 4, 5, and if I multiply these, I have 10 here, I have 12, so already I would say no, this is not an inverse relationship because I already have an answer that's different. So let's look at question 3, they give r varies inversely as f. So it's just like what we did. They've just given us different letters. R varies inversely with F. How would I write that? R equals K over F. And that's my answer for that one. Question number four um, is a little more thought out. In fact, what we're gonna have to do are steps one, two, and three for question number four. So what they start off with is saying, if y varies inversely as x, y varies inversely as x. So step one would be interpret. I've got y equals k over x. That's step one. Step two, they tell me that y is four when x is 10. y is four when x is 10. So these are temporary values for x and y, so if I substitute those in, y is four, x is 10. Then I would multiply to get k is 40. So that's step two. They want me to find the inverse variation equation when y is four and x is 10. So what they want me to do is replace my k with its numer numerical value. So this would be step three, y equals 40 over x. And this is my answer. Okay, question five. Um, says if Z varies inversely.